Hey guys, welcome! In today's video I'm gonna bring you with me through a permanent makeup procedure to the eyebrows and we're gonna execute the hair by hair technique which is one of the most requested one because it gives the most natural effect ever. Basically in this technique we're going to tattoo on the eyebrow of our client single and individual hair strokes. This is gonna give a more bushy, intense and enhance simply the natural eyebrow of the client without giving a too marked and visible result. You're gonna see how natural it is. It's amazing, basically the, you won't be able to see the difference between the tattoo hair stroke and the natural eyebrow of the client in the end of the procedure. If you're curious on how I will achieve this beautiful effect, then just keep watching because I'm gonna bring you with me through the whole procedure. We're gonna see how I do the preparatory drawing, which is basically this sketch in which we draw the symmetric eyebrows. Then we're gonna choose the pattern on how to display the hair stroke according to the base that we have underneath. So we're going to display the, the tattooed eyebrows, the two hair strokes, uh, depending on the way her eyebrow, her hair actually naturally grow. Okay? Then we're gonna choose the color together and we're gonna do the execution, so the real tattooing procedure. And I'm gonna bring you with me step by step so you won't miss a thing. Okay, you curious? Let's just jump straight into it. Okay, so let me introduce you my beautiful, gorgeous model of the day. And this is her natural brows. As always, I like to start with the pre-drawing sketch. And to do so, I use a pre-inked thread from Biotech. Basically, this is a thread, but is um, soaked in color. And I use the thread just to take the reference point, uh, which depend on the face of every individual client. By marking the reference point, I will achieve a different shape of eyebrows, which is ideal for the face of every client. I'm gonna go quite briefly on this topic because I got another video, a specific video on YouTube showing you a step-by-step -step technique on how I do like the pre-drawing sketch with the thread. You can find it always here on my YouTube channel. So, with this sketch, I'm gonna mark basically the contour, the outer shape of the eyebrow of my client, and I leave the inside empty, because I would like to display inside of this contour the hair strokes that I'm going to tattoo. I always suggest you to do so, especially when we do hair by hair procedures, because displaying the hair strokes in a symmetrical way from the left eyebrow to the right eyebrows is not easy. So I think it's better to help ourselves as much as possible by drawing the hair strokes previously. To do so, I use this special kind of pencil which I can sharp and I'll be able to have like a very precise and sharp uh, uh, point. By the way, I'm gonna leave you the link of all the products that I'm gonna use in this video in the description box below. So in case you're curious or you wanna use them, you wanna purchase them, you'll find everything linked below. And with this pencil, I'm just gonna mark every individual hair stroke. This is gonna be my initial bone structure. So I'm gonna mark just the important and main hair strokes right now. And I choose the disposition of the hair strokes based on the natural growth of the hair of my client. So she has descending eyebrows in the tail area and I'm just gonna follow that. Gorgeous. I love, love the way already the result looks. Even though I haven't even started tattooing, I already like it. Of course, I'm gonna add additional hair strokes in between. 
Uh, this is just, as I said, my bone structure, so I like to keep the, the hair strokes quite spaced apart one another. And here you got the recap of my structure. Feel free to take a screenshot and try to replicate it on latex later. Now to start my procedure, I'm using the One Point HD needle from Biotech. And this is their absolute top seller and in my opinion, the only needle in the world that gives you super fine lines, super tiny and skinny hair strokes, but still charged of pigment, releases a lot of pigment. This is thanks to a special technology which sits inside of the cartridge. Basically it has some areas that make the needle stable, some grips that avoid the needle from shaking laterally, but at the same time some hole that will let the pigment flow on the body of the needle, allowing us to release a lot of pigment inside of the skin, though having the finest hair strokes. You'll see when I clean after the first step how thin and natural are the at each and every individual hair stroke. As a machine, I'm using my uh, latest new favorite one, which is Ingot from Biotech, and I'm using the Stroke 3.2. So this is kind of a delicate machine on the skin. They have two versions, the Stroke 3.2 and 3.8, and I'm choosing to use the lowest stroke, the 3.2, because I like to work with uh, kind of soft and delicate machines. And as you can tell, it's still so delicate, there is not even a single blood drop, and the skin is not irritated at all, it's not even getting red. My client is not suffering at all, it's not a painful procedure. And basically what I do with a back and forth movement, I mark on top of the hair strokes which I've previously drawn with the pencil. When I do the tail hair strokes, I like to start from the center and moving my way outwards. In this way, I'm gonna make sure that the beginning of the hair stroke will not look too harsh, will not have like a dot in the area where I insert the needle, because I'm doing it in a releasing movement. I'm starting from the central and I'm going outwards. So when I finish, I'm like having this very gradual effect of the hair stroke which starts from zero and slowly, slowly builds its intensity up. I do that with a back and forth movement and I'm using the control unit uh, before you from Biotech, but you know, this handpiece, the ingot handpiece can be plugged on almost any kind of control unit for permanent makeup and for body tattoo. So feel free to attach it to whatever control unit you like. And I'm using the speed uh, six, six volts. And check this out. Look already how thin, but still very visible, the hair strokes look. I'm still gonna go over them because you know, we're working, I'm Italian and I'm working in Italy. So Italian skins are rather on a difficult side. So I need to make sure to implant a lot of pigment into the skin to be able to have a stable and long lasting result. And for long lasting, I mean one year because I'm using resorbable pigments, not using tattoo pigments. So those pigments will be reabsorbed by your skin in one year and the client will come back for a touch up procedure in one year. So um, one more thing I wanna tell you is, uh, I told you the speed is six volts, but please take into consideration that the speed depends on the kind of machine you're using. Different machines will have different motors inside and every motor has its own characteristics, so a specific speed that you need to run it to. So 6 volts on ingot will not perform the same as 6 volt on another machine. The pigment I'm using right now, it's called Paris. It's from the new line of biotech pigments called More Than Ever. 
and this line is the one which is already um, rich conformed and uh, conformed to the European new regulations so it's safe to use even in Europe and of course in US. Paris is uh, one of the top sellers absolutely because it's a medium neutral brown so I use it on let's say 80% of my clients. I'm later going to use another color which is going to be a shade darker it's going to be called Milan and uh, we will use it to give more three dimensional effect. In the meanwhile with the same needle same speed and same movement I'm going over each hair stroke to make sure to bring more pigment to make them a little bit darker and richer in intensity. At this step, if you see that you've very been important to a little bit over too every individual hair stroke as many times as you need, stay inside of the skin properly, feel free to touch up that single and individual area. You don't need to go over this, the whole hair stroke again if there is just two millimeters of pigment missing. Just focus on those two millimeters and then stop once you see that all hair strokes are equally charged in pigment, they're equally saturated, they're, e they're uniform and smooth. I love how this machine and with this needle work. I mean, you can really, really see that the needle is super stable and this is for me super important. Like, look at this now. There is zero vibration on the needle. It's so stable. I love it because you know it's not easy to go over the same hair stroke with an extreme precision twice. And this is not a thing that you should be giving for granted because on the market they exist machines and cartridges in which the needle doesn't stay as stable as this, but kind of rather vibrate, shakes. And when you have such a machine, then you're done. I mean, you can never be precise if your needle doesn't give you the stability. And then forget about thin hair stroke and the natural ending result for your client. I always make sure to stretch the skin very well and I'm working with the softest touch, 90 degrees angle and a back and forth movement. So when I enter into the skin, I enter in a continuous line then in the center of the hair stroke, I do a back and forth. Yeah, here you can see back and forth. And then when I exit, when I in the ending part of the hair stroke, I go in a continuous line as well. Now let's clean. And look at that. Check this stunning result. Only two steps. I already love it like that. But we're going to add some additional hair strokes to give it a more natural and bushy effect. And as always, I go back to my pencil and I draw previously where I want to mark the hair stroke. Of course, this uh, pencil works better when the client doesn't have a lot of natural hairs. So in the areas in which she has more, um, I'm going to be seeing the pencils less sharp. But it's okay, it's just to give me you know, an idea on where to place them. Same needle, same speed, same everything. I'm just gonna do also same movement, just gonna go over my pre-drawn hair strokes. Generally, I like to display those additional hair strokes, uh, starting from, let's say, the previous hair stroke, cutting in half this empty space and going to join on the next uh, hair stroke. So starting from the previous one and hugging the next one. Now I'm gonna take the darker color, which is still a neutral, but just one shade darker. Now I'm using the color called Milan from Biotech, and before I was using Paris. And with this darker color, I'm gonna go over some hair stroke, like the main hair strokes in the center of the eyebrow. The aim of this step is just to to make some hair stroke pop more, to give it a more three-dimensional effect, combining the usage of two colors.
I want to give the illusion of a thinner hair that I will do with the lighter color and thicker hair that I will do with the darker color. And then I'm gonna add some additional hairs, like a disturbing hair that will give a more bushy effect because if you think about the natural eyebrows of clients, in, in nature, our eyebrows don't grow this nicely, this symmetrical, like in a pattern, all brushed up in one way. They don't grow like that, they grow like a mess. There are some hair going upwards, downwards, they cross. So if we really want to achieve natural results, then nature is mess. And we want to try to replicate that. Remember that the aim of this treatment, the aim of today's videos, in today's technique, is to have the most natural effect. And to do so, we need to display some tiny little hair strokes in a more messy and bushy way. Where? In the areas in which I see empty spaces. But don't exaggerate too much, okay? Remember not to fill it, overfill it with hair strokes. Those hair strokes that I told you about, the, the additional one, we're gonna do with the lighter color, with Paris. And that's the final effect. So was I right? It's really the most natural effect ever. Is it true? No. And just imagine how much permanent makeup has changed in the past 20 years. Nowadays it's no longer the same one it used to be in the 90s in which we were doing those like black or gray solid block eyebrows, completely unnatural. Nowadays we have improved so much. It's like a complete different world nowadays and I love the effect and I think that this kind of effect if it's done properly if it's um, if it's done by an expert also you won't be able to see the difference between the tattoos the tattooed hair strokes and the natural hair of the client that's where you know you have reached your goal it's just yourself but better with more symmetrical eyebrows, with a little more intense effect on your eyebrows, but it's still you and no one will be able to tell that you got a tattoo on your face. So thank you very much for watching today and I hope you have seen something interesting, hopefully something, learned something new. If you have any comment for me, any question for me, you know, just let me know in the comments here below and I will make sure to get back to you as soon as possible as I always do. Also, if you have, uh, I don't know, some suggestions for the next videos, uh, if you there's some topic that you'd like me to treat or you want, I don't know, just to see how I do that kind of procedure because you're curious, just let me know as well, writing a comment here below and we'll see, maybe you'll be lucky and the next video will be for you. And once again, thank you so much for being with me today. If you have liked this video, make sure to rate it positively give it a thumb up and make sure to subscribe to my channel so you will receive a notification every time I post a new video and you won't miss any of them. I also link for you my Instagram here. Make sure to follow me there because I always do some like interesting contents, some reels, giving some tips and tricks on permanent makeup. So if you're a permanent makeup artist, um, you'll for sure find some interesting content on my Instagram as well. Thank you, and see you in the next videos. Ciao!